Hey everyone! Welcome to this tutorial where I'll walk you through the steps to install Oracle VirtualBox and Ubuntu, then install OpenFoam on it. Let's get started. First, head over to the Oracle VirtualBox website and download the latest version for your operating system. Next, go to the official Ubuntu website and download the latest Ubuntu disk image, also known as an ISO file. Make sure to save both files to an easily accessible location on your computer. Once the downloads are complete, Locate the Oracle VirtualBox installer and double-click it to begin the installation. The setup wizard will guide you through the process. Just click Next a few times, and then hit Finish to complete the installation. It's that simple. Now that VirtualBox is installed, open it and click the New button to create a virtual machine. Give your machine a name, like Tensor, click Next to continue. Next, allocate hardware resources like memory and CPU cores. Make sure to leave some resources for your host operating system to avoid crashes. For example, if you have 16 gigabytes of RAM, you might allocate 4 GB to Ubuntu. Adjust the settings based on your system's capabilities, then click Next. With the virtual machine set up, click Start to launch it. When prompted, select the Ubuntu ISO file as the startup disk. Attach the Ubuntu ISO file you downloaded earlier. Once the Ubuntu installer loads, choose Try or Install Ubuntu to begin the installation process. Follow the on-screen instructions to install Ubuntu. Select your language, keyboard layout, and installation type. When prompted, enter your name, computer name, and a password. Then, click Install Now and wait for the installation to complete. This may take a while, so grab a cup of coffee.
Once the installation is complete, you'll be prompted to restart the virtual machine. Hit Enter to continue. After the restart, you'll be greeted with the Ubuntu login screen. Enter your password, and congratulations. You're now running Ubuntu, and that's it. You've successfully installed Oracle VirtualBox and Ubuntu. Now you're ready to explore Ubuntu or install additional software like OpenFoam. First, open your search engine and look for the OpenFoam distribution you prefer. In this case, we'll use OpenFoam.com. Go to the Download section, select Linux, and then choose Ubuntu plus Debian Now. Copy the first command to add the OpenFoam repository to your system. If this is your first installation, you might need to install curl first. Running sudo apt install curl if necessary. Just type this command and press enter. Next, update your package list to ensure everything is ready for installation. Now, check the latest version available. Once you find it, run the installation command. This might take a while, so grab a coffee while Ubuntu does the work. Let's set the OpenFoam Bash RC environment in our home Bash RC so it opens automatically when we open a terminal. Copy this line to your terminal and paste it at the end of your home bash RC file. Save your bash our soul file and restart our terminal. Once installed, test it by running blockmesh-help. If you see the help menu, congratulations. OpenFoam is installed successfully. 
Some open foam versions come with parafoam for visualization. If it doesn't work, don't panic. You can install Paraview manually. Simply install it using this command. That's it. You can now close Ubuntu and return to Windows whenever you're done.